Listening 23. The teacher is talking to the children in class about the school trip to the castle. Listen and write the missing information. Good afternoon, everyone. Could you all listen very carefully because I'm going to give you some important information about our trip tomorrow. So, we're going to leave on Wednesday morning, the 12th of June. As you already know, I'm sure, this is going to be a very interesting trip to a famous castle, which is called Harlow Castle. You spell that H-A-R-L-O-W. Could you write that down on your information page, please? Now, we're going to leave school very early at 7.30 a.m. And please don't be late because we've got a long journey to the castle. It'll take us two and a half hours to get there. Now, when we get to the castle, a very friendly man will give us a tour of the castle building. That will be at 11 a.m. So, first we're going to visit the rooms inside the castle. They're very old and interesting, and will give you an idea of the history of this great building. There's also a small museum near the castle, so we'll visit that next. <laughs> then I'm sure you'll all be hungry, so we'll have lunch at 1.30 p.m. Yeah. Now, we won't have long for lunch, just half an hour, because we've got lots to do in the afternoon. So we're just going to go and eat our sandwiches outside. Please remember to bring some with you. You can go to the castle restaurant to get drinks. Then, after lunch, at two o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to walk round the river and castle gardens. They're really lovely. There are wild animals in the gardens, so please look for them and tick any wild animals you see on your information page. There are also some very interesting insects. For example, unusual butterflies and spiders. <laughs> if you see any, please draw pictures of the insects and colour them. Oh, yes, you must stay in groups when you visit the gardens. And everyone must be back on the bus at 5.30, please. We really want to leave as quickly as we can so that we get to school again at 7.45 in the evening. Please ask your parents to be there to pick you up then. Right. Now, just a few words about what to bring with you tomorrow. I've talked about sandwiches, and it's always good to have a camera not an expensive one, but don't lose it. Then, of course, don't forget your coat, because it might be cold. And, oh yes, remember an umbrella, because it could rain tomorrow, I'm afraid. You can bring some money for things like postcards. They aren't very expensive. And in the castle gardens, you can also buy ice creams and snacks. Yes. Brilliant. Well, get to bed early tonight, and I'll see you all in the morning. Night, sir. Listening 24. Listen, read, and act. Mr. Brown is talking to Holly and Harry about their trip. Are you going to go on a trip to the castle tomorrow? Yes, we are. What are you going to do there? I'm going to look at the insects in the insect house. I hate insects. I'm going to go to the playground. Oh, Dad, we need some money because we're going to buy some postcards. And some ice cream. Well, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow and it might rain. So make sure you take your umbrellas. OK. We will, Dad. And are you going to do your homework before you go to bed? No, we aren't. We're too excited. Listening 25. Listen and do the photocopyable activity.
So, you visited the museum. And then where did you have your lunch, Holly? Well, Katie and I decided to go to the playground. We ate our sandwiches there and played on the swings there. Well, I hope you played on the swings after you ate your sandwiches, Holly. Of course we did, Mum. And what did you do after lunch? We visited the gardens. And, you know, there were some wild animals there. Some of them were in very big cages. Really? So what animals did you see? Well, Harry said he saw green lizards, but I didn't. I saw orange and black snakes and some big yellow and brown lions. Oh dear, weren't you frightened? No, Mum, I wasn't. And next, I saw some red and green parrots. One said, hello, who's a pretty girl? I couldn't believe it. It spoke to you? Yes, it really did. And there were also some big brown bears there. Katie and I loved them. They looked so friendly. But really, they're very dangerous. I know they are. Harry said he saw some monkeys, and they were very funny. But I didn't see any. I was a bit unhappy about that, because they're my favourite animals. And he saw some rabbits in the woods, but Katie and I didn't. Never mind. You still saw lots of animals. Yes, we did. And we saw some insects in the insect house too. Oh no, I hate insects. No mum, some of them were really lovely. I saw a really big spider there. It had a black and yellow body and red legs. It was wonderful. Oh no, Holly, it sounds horrible. And my other favourite insect was a butterfly. It was purple with orange and green spots. Oh, well, that doesn't sound too bad. It was lovely, Mum. I'm sure it was. But you both got back to school very late. Half past eight on a school night. I know. Some children couldn't find the way back to the bus, so we were late leaving the castle. But there was also a lot of traffic on the roads on the way home. That's why. But it was an excellent day, Mum. Yes, it was. But Holly, Harry... What, what Mum? It's time for bed now. Off you both go. And do you know what you're going to do tomorrow evening? No, no Mum. Guess. We're, We're going, going to, to do our homework, Mum. That's right.